Horsepower is Anonymous is a fellowship of people who share their experience, strength, and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from a need for speed. Uh, welcome back, everybody. For the new faces, welcome, welcome. The only requirement for membership is the desire to stop adding power. Shall we start with the prayer? Dear Heavenly Spirit, thank you for providing us with the direct port nitrous injection, four core intercoolers, ball bearing turbos, and um, titanium valve springs. Thank you. Amen. 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 Any newcomers who would like to introduce themselves to the group? Uh, my name is Masa, and I'm an alcoholic. Masa, this is Horsepower's Anonymous, not AA. I'm just explaining how my car ended up in LA. Thank you, Masa, for sharing your story. Are there any other newcomers who would like to introduce themselves? Uh, yeah, my name is Andy. Uh, my wife gave me an ultimatum. Uh, either, uh, you know, her or the truck. Oh, I'm so proud of you for taking that first step. Yeah, no, I'm just here to pick up a set of wheels. I've never given up my truck. Okay, thanks for sharing. I met a guy this week that was addicted to brake fluid. He said he could stop at any time. Thanks for sharing. Tonight's theme is restraint. When a V6 pulls up next to you, what do we do? Downshift. Purge. Gap him. You let the V6 go. It's not worth the race. What's the difference between a refrigerator and a house? You can store cars in a house. You can sleep in your car. You can't drive your house. What about a motorhome? No, a refrigerator starts in a box and then moves into a house. Mm -hmm. You guys hear that? It sounded exotic. Sounds like my nitrous Ferrari 458. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog and thank you for tuning in. Today we are installing nitrous on my Ferrari 458. Everyone told me it'd be a terrible decision, but today we're about to find out. I know I said I wasn't gonna mold it. I know I said I was gonna keep it stuck, but what if, and hear me out, what if we added a few more horsepower? I understand I'm being a hypocrite right now, but there is nothing more attractive than having a nice and clean hygienic man. That's why I would like to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped, the global leader in men's grooming tools and hygiene solutions, and they stand by that heavy statement. Men's grooming has come a long way in the past few years, from being unheard of to becoming a common practice among other men. That's why Manscaped created the ultimate men's grooming kit for the modern man suitable for men who prefer a trim, a close shave, or anything in between. The best thing you can do to set yourself up for success is to have a strong shower game. The Manscaped Body Wash and 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner Duo is your new secret weapon. Made with all natural hygiene ingredients, these products are all paraben free, cruelty free, dye free, and vegan. And if you're looking to impress a certain someone special, feeling your best starts with smelling your best. For your underarm, it's the new Aluminum Free Stick Deodorant by Manscaped. Ooh. It has Manscaped Signature Refined Cologne Scent to neutralize and mask odor. It dries clear so it won't leave any residue on your skin or clothing. And check this out, they even have a deodorant specifically made for your balls. Yes, I know, the crop preserver. For body and hair maintenance, you already know, you've got your lawnmower 4.0 electric trimmer and the Weed Whacker Nose Ear Hair Trimmer. These trimmers are built specifically for men. They're waterproof, cordless, and made with skin safe technology, which helps to reduce nicks and cuts. And Manscaped is hooking you up with a bunch of freebies. The Shed Luxury Travel Bag, a free pair of Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs. Simply go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use promo code AMELIA at checkout. Thank you Manscaped so much for sponsoring today's video and being such an incredible partner to this channel. Now, let's get back to the video. Oh, uh, hey, I got a quick question for you. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever heard of anyone putting nitrous on a 458? No. I'm calling Ferrari Beverly Hills to see what they would charge to install nitrous on a car and if they'll even do it. Ferrari Beverly Hills, this is Sam. How may I help you? I had a question about a Ferrari own for, um, to have work done to it. Who would I talk to? That would be service. Let me transfer you right over. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, my car feels a little slow and I want 100 more horsepower. <laughs> 
Thank you for calling for our Beverly Hills Service and Body Shop. This is Heather. How may I help you? I have a Ferrari, and I was racing these people the other day, and I think they had a Ferrari too, and it was faster than mine. So I feel like I need to add a couple hundred more horsepower to my car. And I was watching Fast and Furious, and they have something called NOS which made the cars faster. Is that something that you guys can install on a car for me? That I don't know. I'd have to get you over to a service advisor who could better assist you with that. No, that's not something we would we would do or, or recommend doing. It's only gonna get a blow up the engine. So if I put the NOS, it'd probably blow it up? Yes. But, but good news, I mean, the 458s are, are worth all the money. They're, they're becoming highly collectible. So I would say, you know, you should, um, you should look about trading it in, and I'm sure we can get you to a 488. Right. Let's install nitrous on the 458. <laughs> I have to give you guys a huge and sincere thank you for completely selling out the return to life drop in the first 24 hours. The shirts and hoodies are gone, but we do still have some dad hats, some return to life stickers, and one of my favorites, the return to life jet tag. So if you guys want to support, go to HartfordLTD.com. Let's completely sell out the entire website. And because I care about you guys and I love you guys, I'm also going to be releasing the white Hartford project return to life hoodie as a limited drop. I'm having these made right now also on top of the white hoodies because you guys love this design so much I'm also going to be doing some lightweight bomber jackets which I absolutely love. Make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram at miss.amelia to stay up to date with everything that's going on. Today we're going to make what is either the best or worst impulse decision we've ever made on the channel. Stay tuned to find out which one that is. to Nos for uh, hooking us up with a nitrous kit. No, I don't want to blow up the car. That is not my intention. We're even doing a wet shot because we're trying to get jiggy with it. 458 DI injected so you could do a dry shot and let's let the, do a dry shot before the map. Why not just do a, a wet shot anyways and we'll ramp it in with a controller, right? Yeah, I'd want to be extravagant. Why not do a dry shot? Well, you're supposed to lick it before you stick it. <laughs> let's go, boys. Sandy and I laid out all the nitrous parts on the back of Mimi. And uh, just to show you guys what we got, we have a purge valve kit. This is the purge solenoid so that we can purge it. It's gonna look sick. Bottle warmer, blow down tube. We're talking about mounting the nitrous bottle behind the passenger seat. I don't want you guys to think we're being reckless with the nitrous kit on the 458. An engine for the 458, we're talking 60 to $70,000. I do not want to blow this up. I know Sandy doesn't want to blow this up. A nitrous kit isn't as dangerous as people think, especially because we're, we're not doing a dry shot. We're running a fuel solenoid as well. We're doing this one for the kids. Right. <laughs> it's only gonna get a blow up the engine. a DIY of anyone installing nitrous on a Ferrari 458 because we can't find anywhere where it has ever been done before except on Forza. Someone was able to go 260 miles per hour with the nitrous kit installed. I think what we're going to do is we're going to tap into the underside of the intake manifold because we really want to spray post math and then we'll hook up the two solenoids, one for nitrous, one for fuel. We'll have the purge set. We're going to start tapping the manifold. We're going to make it look super clean. We don't want this to look ugly. It's still a Ferrari. While Sandy goes ahead and taps the intake, I'm going to work on starting to mount the bottle inside the cab of the car. So let's uh, let's fill the bracketing. Let's get this inside of there and get it all mounted up. This ledge is almost built for this bracket, but I don't like the idea of someone reclining the seat and scratching the carbon fiber backing of the seat. So instead, I think let's, let's try the bottle in the front. Yeah, buddy. This is already a false bottom for the hydraulic system. So we can run the hose straight through the same tunnel that the lines are going through to the suspension. We'll run it to the back. It'll be perfect. Yeah. That's like two horsepower, right? Two. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Did you know every shot is a horsepower? Really? So if it's 150 shot, it's 150 horsepower. Wait, so the Skyram, what was there, what were those plates? That was a 7,000 shot. So we got the solenoids mounted up and 
ready to go. We still have to wire them. I'm gonna look to see where we can run that through the firewall. We have to set up the purge line and then tap into the fuel line. Sandy also put bungs into the intake really sleek like underneath. So actually, if you're out here, unless you know what you're looking for, you're not even gonna see it. The solenoids are gonna be completely covered too, especially when we have the black trim piece go over it. So everything's gonna look tucked and super nice. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. <laughs> the 458 is dual throttle body, which means we need to spray nitrous into each port. And the smallest jet that we have is a 50, so we're gonna be spraying a 100 shot. This broadcast has been interrupted by Tricks by Uni. A butt. Pretty girl. Okay, 360. 360. <laughs> All right, down. Stay. Okay. Girl. What else should we teach her? Comment below. Fuel and nitrous lines are going into the intake. We have everything wired and ready to go. We found power in the fuse box. We have the wires run through the cab, through the firewall. All we need to do is get this fuel line in and we're ready to rock and roll. Man, Ferrari does not make it easy to work on their cars. It's almost like they don't want their customer base modifying them. You should look about trading it in and I'm sure we can get you to a 488. We have the purge all ready to go. It looks silly, but this isn't gonna be the final thing. We're gonna trim this so it's flush. So you don't even see this from the outside of the car. What I really would love to do is have one line on each event, but we don't have long enough hose right now. So for now, we kind of have one facing that way and one facing this way. They'll never know. Nitrous installed. Hey, uh, go team. I almost, 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 almost don't want to show you guys the arm switch and then the nitrous button and the purge button because that's, it's a little jank, but we got it done. And we're gonna build a nice box exactly like what the CA Corvette has, but temporarily. We have a momentary button, we have the arm switch, and we have the purge button. Before we test the nitrous on the Ferrari 458, I need you guys to subscribe to the YouTube channel and give this video a like. And if you do, I'll race the Ferrari 458 with the nitrous against the twin turbo CA Corvette. Sounds fun, huh? <laughs> We just did a fuel cycle, primed the fuel in the lines, and uh, now we're gonna purge it, see how that looks and sounds, and then we're gonna rev it up to 5K, give her a little squeeze, make sure everything sounds and feels good. Maybe uh, you'll hear it rev up a little bit, and then I think we're ready to drive. All right, we got nitrous. All right, it's armed, it's purged. I'm gonna rev it to five and give it a little. Just real quick. Liked it a lot. <laughs> One more. Okay, you ready? So we said we were gonna come back and fix it, and we did. We came back, we cleaned up the wiring, and I really wanna show you guys how it looks all tucked inside of the 458. So all the wiring is gone. The switches are now in order in the center console. We moved the HLS down one, and we added the nitrous on and the purge button. And here is the momentary nitrous switch that just fits quite perfectly inside of here. So whenever I'm driving, it's flexible. I can hold it up there, do whatever I want. I can toss it in the back. So you wouldn't even know there was nitrous unless you knew what you're looking for. And we also changed the purge. It is now no longer the little tiny purge that it was before. It is now fire hose. But we got two big boys, one out of each vent. It looks so sick. Let me show you guys. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> if I didn't have a cease and desist already, Ferrari's definitely gonna be sending one now. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't belong there. Oh, that's rad. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh... You got it, you ready? 
Just for going to cars and coffees. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Flying Tessas lately? <laughs> Take that out of the video. <laughs> it's staying in the video. Well, you want to see something that you can't do with a Tesla? Okay, you ready? Is this loud? Uh, there's babies over there. Is it? <laughs> so you put an Austin here. <laughs> We're playing with my hose. Which hose? <laughs> this hose. Uh. He getting jealous over some hose. <laughs> he got mad hose. <laughs> <laughs> hose is long. 